Okay, so um, before we get started on this lecture, uh, give me an igneous rock. Yeah, go ahead, Brian. Granite. Granite's a good one. Here's the roll sheet. Can you just write physical on there in today's date? Um, granite. What's another one? I don't have the rocks with me. Serpentine. Serpentine. No, serpentine actually an igneous rock? It's actually not an igneous rock. I can tell you guys need to see these YouTube's videos. Igneous rock? Yes. Huh? Nice. Other ones? Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Basalt's one. I happen to have a basalt here. Here's a basalt right here. Uh, sedimentary rock, anybody? Limestone. Here's limestone right here. Thank you. And then finally a metamorphic rock. Serpentine's one of them. Marble's one, yeah. Slate was one. Don't take me for granted because I'm nice. Okay, remember those? So there will be rocks on the test, on the final exam. And it'll be a question like, hey, um, give me an example of an igneous intrusive rock. And then I'll put like, you know, serpentine, granite, uh, slate, and let's say limestone, okay? So you'll have to pick which one's the igneous intrusive, which one is the igneous intrusive. Is conglomerate technically a sedimentary rock? Is that like a... All right, so let's take a look at some of the basics of subduction. Here in the middle, here's the asthenosphere, okay? We know that magma rises, here it would be molten, and it helps spread the seafloor. We also have convection currents, that's the cause, okay, for these plates to move. And we have oceanic plates, remember those are the more dense plates, typically made out of basalt, or basaltic, dark colored. Um, we have then um, the continental plates that are typically granitic. They are thicker, but they're less dense. The oceanic plates are thin, maybe five, 10 kilometers, three miles thick sometimes. It's not very thick. 15,000 feet thick. Uh, if I did the, you know, five, three times five, 15,000 feet. So, and they could be even thinner. Um, but these guys, these guys could be upwards of 90 kilometers, you know, 50 miles thick, something like that. That's crazy. Uh, but they are lighter, and so when, the, when this plate collides with this continental plate, it is subducted. It's forced underneath. Add some water with it, and guess what? This will melt. And these blobs of magma called plutons will rise up to the top through uh, fissures and cracks. A lot of it will not make it, by the way. That's our igneous intrusive rocks. They'll be embedded. They might take thousands of years to cool, and then you get that, that igneous intrusive rock like granite. But some of them will make it to the surface and become lavas. Here's the basalt right in here, this dark colored rock. And uh, this will cool very quickly, you know, within days or months, but not thousands of years. Um, other things that is important about subduction is that it does scrape off sediments from the bottom of the ocean floor. If there's, let's say, an island arc, okay, Maybe an old island chain here. That's going to actually get added to the edge of the continent. Remember what we called that? Accretion. Accretion. Okay, so that's an important part of California's story all the way up through Alaska. Um, to review on the directions that plates can go, and then I'll show you some slides. One is that they can spread apart. So out here in the Pacific Ocean, that's called divergence. Two, they can come together. So right over in here, it's spreading apart, and then it's being subducted. This is convergence, right in here where the Nazca plate is hitting the South American plate, and it is being subducted. This is convergence. And then finally, if we look at off of the Pacific Northwest, there are these transform faults, okay? These lateral faults, side-to-side -side faults, 
that um, notice one is right underneath California here. You see that? And that's the San Andreas Fault. So we do get uh, earthquakes from those. And also here in Haiti, we were talking about Haiti in another class. There's a transform fault that goes right through Haiti, and that's what caused that earthquake fairly recently in Haiti. So let me show you guys some slides now about rocks and volcanoes. <laughs>